Great day everyone, I'm here once again, Abigail, and it will always be a beautiful day to learn. And for today, I'm going to talk about the top websites that you can make use of for your academic research. First on our list is Google Scholar. So let us try to type here education and let's see how many articles can be presented here. Okay, so even books are also presented in Google Scholar and you can see that there are already 6,670,000 results, not just from researches but even for books. You can actually filter them if you want since 2022. And let's see, there are already 49,100 that had been added in Google Scholar for this year only. Second would be Sage Journals. So let's just try to type here again education so that you can see how many we can already see for the search results. Okay, so you can already see here that there are more than a million articles which had already been published that has a keyword on education. What's amazing with Sage Journals is that you can actually modify the publication dates that you want since researchers would actually be having at least 10, 10 years. So let's see 2012. Or let's see 2013 between 2013 up to 2022 there are already 295,628 researches related to education how about the third one let's go with eric.ed.gov let us try a language proficiency Okay, so here you can see that there had already been 18,408 researches that are already archived in eric.ed. You can also choose here at the other side of the panel of your screen if you want since the last 5 years or for the last 10 years or last 20 years. Let me just try research results for the last 5 years. Okay, there are already 3,323 results. That's amazing, right? Let's go to the fourth one. The Watch or the Directory of Open Access Journals. I've keyed in again education and let us see. Okay, for education, there had already been 2,504 indexed journals and you can still refine your search results by clicking some of the subjects that are on your panel. And of course, we have the Philippine e-journals. Let me key in communication. For Philippine e-journals, there are already 12 journals, 670 articles that comprise of 139 authors. Next, we go with ResearchGate. This, as they say, ResearchGate has the highest number of users. This is like a network. This is like a social media, but this is intended for research. A user will upload their researches and then other colleagues may see those researches and you can also add them up as part of your network. Okay. One of my favorite authors would be Lyle Bachman and I can see his papers in this website. Next is Taylor and Francis online. Let us try how about communication. It says here that it's more than 4 million articles, but let us try to see communication. Okay, for communication, we have yielded 
123,212 results or researches. And that's a lot, right? It would be very hard to filter this out. That's why there are different options here as to how you can narrow down your researches. Next would be the EBSCOhost research platform. I believe you need your institutional email for you to access this. You can go to your library and ask for the code that is equivalent to your institution. Next is data1.org. Data1, you can see the interface of Data1. It, is, it has nature, it has trees, it's in a forest. And because Data1 talks about the earth, it talks about science, it talks about nature and environment. Next, we have the JURN.org or JURN. This is also a repository of researches in arts, humanities, business, law, nature, sciences, and medical. Let me try this time literature. Okay, so you can see that the researches yielded by this search would be something that is general when it comes to literature. So maybe you can add up some keywords to make it more specific. So now by using a keyword like Greek, you can already see that there are already different articles related to Greek literature. Okay, and lastly, we have the Springer. It says here that Springer has more than 2,900 journals and 300,000 books. Yes, because you can also purchase books from Springer. Let's say educational loss. And that's it. There are already 259,803 articles related to educational laws. So let's just have a rundown of all these websites. First, we have Google Scholar. Second is Sage Journals. Third would be eric.ed.gov. And then we also have the Doge. And of course, Philippine eJournals. Then we also have the Research Kate, Taylor and Francis Online, EBSCO Host, Data One, Journ.org, and lastly we have Springer Link. Once again, these are the top websites that you can utilize for your academic research. So before we end, why not just try to hit that red button so that you will be subscribed to my videos related to different lessons also in research. Bye!